Good morning everyone, today is a PSA video just letting you guys know that there are several things that you need to do before tomorrow's maintenance. So the first thing I need to remind everyone is February 9th is when the Season 4 Mission Pass ends, so make sure that you do get to Tier 35 as soon as possible. Remember, you do not need to redeem all of your rewards because you can still redeem the rewards from the previous season. As you can see here in Season 3, I can still redeem all my rewards. However, uh, once we go into Season 5, if you have not redeemed all your rewards in Season 3, they will disappear because when you go back to the previous season, it will be the Season 4 rewards, okay? So, um, I don't see why you wouldn't receive all your rewards now but for the few people who for whatever reason don't want to redeem their rewards yet don't worry you can always redeem season 4 rewards later however you do need to pop your gold mission pass now if you want any of the bottom tier rewards because once we get into season 5 even if you pop a gold mission pass you will not receive the gold rewards down here from season 4 okay the next thing I want to remind everyone is to spend all of your seasonal points at the Shandy event shop. As you can see here, I have 135,000 points left, but I've pretty much bought everything. But just make sure that you do spend all of your points and purchase everything from the event shop or all the items that you actually want. I think the only thing left for me to purchase are actually grinders because uh, I don't want any of the Tempesta weapons. Now, of course, you could buy one of each Tempesta weapon just for collection purposes if you want. Um, personally, I did this in the early days, but in the end, I never really used the weapon, so I stopped doing that. But either way, please make sure that you spend all of your seasonal points before the maintenance because the seasonal shop will be going away after the 9th. The next thing is more of a tip than a reminder, and that is when you're sorting through your loot, you know how we always go through rarity, we highlight the items and you drag all the way to the bottom and highlight it like this and then sell it by just dragging it over to the side? Well, there's actually an easier way. Because often when I'm scrolling down this list over here, it will deselect the item because I'm in a combat zone and I get a new piece of loot and it just screws up everything and makes it super, super annoying. Well, there are two solutions to this. The first one is simply highlighting the top item, holding down shift and pressing the up arrow several times and it highlights everything just like that and then selling it. However, for me, I actually prefer clicking this little button over here, change display mode. I just found this out totally by accident because I missed the close button but you click on this and boom you can see that now it's in this little grid and it's a lot easier to highlight all the items like this and to sell it because you're not scrolling down as much and uh, I found this super useful because uh, basically I can just take a glance over here look at what the items are I'm like okay there's no relic I just drag that off to the side and click yes and it'll sell everything for 3800 Meseta makes my life very very easy and it works the same way with the armors over here we all know how much we all hate the Theseus armor over here you can literally just take a glance over it. you know they're all Theseus drag to the side yes boom they're all sold very easy and even better is in the drop storage. Bam, this is even easier. You can just take a quick look and you can see through all your loot and see if there's anything valuable. If there is anything valuable, you can click on it and you can deposit it to your default storage or whatever and uh, just save it. But if there's nothing valuable, boop, sell that easy peasy. The next reminder I have for everyone is the schedule change for the February 8th maintenance. Now it says February 8th, but it's gonna be the 9th for me. As you can see here, it's February 9th for me at 10 a.m. However, if you live in the US, is going to be on the 8th during your evenings so we'll just keep that in mind I will leave this link in the description below make sure to click on it because it auto converts into your time zone but the important thing that I need to point out is maintenance is going to start two hours earlier than normal as you can see it's being changed from 10 a.m. my time to 8 a.m. my time so maintenance will start two hours earlier just keep that in mind in case you haven't completed anything that I just talked about make sure to knock all of those out before the maintenance comes in or else you're going to be missing out. And last but not least is please don't forget to complete the survey to receive 40 star gems over here. Sega wants our feedback again so please do take the time to take this seriously and fill out the survey because Sega does take our feedback seriously and does listen to us to some extent. Uh, I highly recommend everyone to write the auto sell feature. Please make that a feature, Sega, so we don't need to deal with all of our inventory management like every 20 seconds after a PSC burst because that is driving me insane. Now, do keep in mind this survey does end on February 9th on 5 p.m. my time. 
So this will be February 9th, 4 a.m. EST, and that is like 1 a.m. PST. Again, I will leave this link in the description below so that you can just click on it and immediately click take survey, complete the survey, get your 40 star gems, as well as give Sega your input regarding on how they should fix the game and you know what other content they should be focusing on and stuff like that. And of course, we are going to be doing the questionnaire together right now. You guys have probably noticed that, look, I am a VTuber. Woo, look at me. My head moves around. And um, yes, this is all thanks to Rosie. All of her socials will be linked below. She helped me create this V2 model as well as rig it. So uh, big thank you to Rosie. But uh, anyway, let's get straight into this questionnaire because, uh, well, we got to do it, right? All right, so once we're in, it just says over here that uh, we're going to be using some gameplay. There's going to be some common questions about the story, open fields, new urgent quests, and five-star rarity weapons, blah, 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 continue. Okay, my gender is male. My age. Oof, oof. I'm in the middle of that now. Feels bad. All right, um, we'd like to hear... About your PSO2 New Genesis gameplay status, please enter your player ID. 1059744. Okay, perfect. Let us know the name of your most used character. That would be Karopi, of course. I am on ship 2. I am level 35. Uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts on the new Rotem region. Have you played through the Rotem region? Yes, I have. How fun was the story? Um, I was satisfied. I was pretty happy with the story. The story volume? Neutral. I wish there was more. I really wish there was a lot more. I mean, should I do dissatisfied? I feel like neutral is a little bit too forgiving. I think we can be a little bit more harsh, right? What do you guys think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be, um, I'm actually gonna put dissatisfied. I want more of the story volume. I feel like it was a little bit too little. As for, yeah, the, the funness was good. I was happy with how fun it was. The difficulty was just right because we were under leveled and I was trying to rush through the story while being under leveled. So uh, yeah, it was just right for me. All right, what did I enjoy? I loved the music and the pacing of the story. What I did not enjoy, the story was too short. I wanted more. <laughs> I think that's it. They gave me a 750 word limit, but that's really it. Um, because they're just asking about chapter two of the story, right? So I'm gonna keep mine short and sweet because I don't wanna go, you know. They're probably gonna ask me more details later, right? Here we go, yeah, exploration, combat, and gameplay. Um, combat is good. I'm pretty happy with combat, actually. The graphics, I'm pretty happy with the graphics. The ease of access, this was much better, yes, is, uh, I mean, maybe, no, nah, satisfied, satisfied. Ease of combat with enemies, uh, neutral, I guess. There are some enemies I definitely did not enjoy fighting, um, so I'm going to put on neutral. There are some enemies I just don't like. I don't like the worm guys, I don't like the big doll that takes forever to break because you got to, like, bust open his chest and then beat them up, and they're super tanky, I don't, I don't really like that guy. All right, what did I enjoy about the exploration sectors? Um, ease of access to material, mat materials, lots of verticality. I like the verticality. Very pretty views. <laughs> That's pretty much what I enjoyed about the exploration sectors. Um, what I did not enjoy, lack of things to do. Lack of things to do, no real purpose to explore other than red boxes, runs out of quote-unquote content very quickly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think all three points are really the same thing. It's just lack of things to do. Alright, give us the combat sectors. What did I enjoy? Um... Mob density, density is good in Retem Alnoth map. Design for Retem Alnoth is good. Mob types in Retem Alnoth is good. <laughs> it's everything about Retem Alnoth, what I didn't enjoy. Lower levels, map 
design has too much vertical verticality for a combat zone. Uh, lower level mobs are too tanky. Lower level mobs is not an enjoyable grinding experience. There we go. I don't like lower levels, as you guys can tell, and I liked Alnoth a lot. Alright, next. Give us your thoughts about the Urgent Quest Dustal Vera, Suppression Ops, and Renis Vera. Dustal Vera, Suppression Ops gameplay? Uh, it's alright. Neutral. Because, because Dustal plays a stupid guitar, and sometimes it takes forever to break a stupid guitar, and more often than not, it bugs out where he doesn't break. Because you get his break gauge to zero, and then um, he goes into guitar phase, and then you can't break him after that for like the longest time. I don't know if it's a bug or if that's working as intended, but it's really annoying. So that is why I'm doing neutral. As for the rewards, I'm also neutral. There's, we just don't get much good stuff from him. We should be able to get Dustle 3s like a lot more often from this. At least that's how I feel, but uh, we don't. Anyway, the difficulty itself, it's uh, its quite easy. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty easy. So, ah, just put it there. Renes Vera, on the other hand, I am very satisfied with it because the fight's relatively short. You just go in, it's a worm, you beat the crap out of him, it's very easy. But again, the rewards, uh, it's neutral, you know, it's very eh. Difficulty, again, is also very easy. I, I, I might even go extremely easy because it literally just beat him up, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go extremely easy. I think it, the worm actually is very, very easy. So, give us your thoughts on Dustal Vera Suppression Operation. What I enjoyed. The fight to the boss is entertaining and different. The boss fight itself is awesome. The guitar slash war horn is cool. <laughs> what I did not enjoy. The guitar phase where the where the boss is invincible and we have to hit the guitar is annoying as a melee player braver. Very often the break gauge gauge is bugged where the boss will not break until less than 10% HP. People keep blowing up the bombs by accident. I'm not really peed by the blowing up bombs to be honest, I really don't care because all the mobs there are pretty easy to kill anyway, but I'm just gonna write it here, maybe they'll make them invincible unless you ground pound them, that would be a nice addition. Would be definitely babysitting us, but a nice addition. Renis Vera, worm, what I enjoy. Very straightforward and simple. Sea worm, kill worm. Short and sweet. Does not take a very long time. Always fun and entertaining. Alright, what I don't like. Renis Vera burrows into the ground for too long. I don't like waiting. I don't like running around unable to hit the boss. That's pretty much it. Renis Vera is fine, in my personal opinion. Let us know your relationship with each series of the newly added 5 star rarity weapons. I mean, technically I have every weapon. I, I literally have all of these weapons, but I don't use them. Well, I use the relic, obviously, but I have all the weapons, so sure, yeah, I have all of them. Alright, your thoughts about the 5 star rarity weapons, what I enjoyed. The Relic series are very rare, but extremely powerful, which is awesome. However, I would like to see a guarantee. I'd like to see a guaranteed method to obtain a relic. So players have a goal to work towards instead of rely instead of depending on pure RNG pure 
instead of depending on pure luck. The other weapons are interesting, but pale in comparison to the Relic and Gre Grega, Gre Grega, Grega series. There we go, guys. I finally said it right. Grega series instead of Gregia series. But uh, there we go. Okay. I would like to see a crafting slash upgrading system for fixas. So players can continuously work towards upgrading their weapons even after the first few weeks of progression. Yep, that's pretty much it for weapons. Like the other weapons are interesting but pale in comparison, that's true. The relic weapons are rare but extremely powerful which is awesome. The relic weapons need a guaranteed method, yep, and we need upgrades, yeah, cool, next. Alright, let us know what you felt about the Stellar Grace Recovery Operation. The gameplay is satisfied, I like it a lot, because I like to just run around and just chill. The ease of finding Stellar Grace, um, they're okay, yeah, uh, I'll put a neutral, I mean they could be easier, especially like in places with a lot of verticality, like at, at the rock Wah, 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 wah. You know, the, um, the the place where you get all your tetracite on the bottom right side of Ritem. That that place has a lot of verticality. Same as like South Alio has a lot of verticality. It's kind of annoying. The rewards are... No, I want the rewards to be even better. I know 5 star gems is cool. But no, I'm, I'm going to go as far as dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. We need better rewards. There, there needs to be a better reason for people to get these uh, these stellar graces other than just star gems. Like five star gems, sure, it's nice, but give us something better. I'm not happy with the rewards. I want more because I'm greedy. So, ha. Okay, next. All right, what did I enjoy about it? Uh, it gives me a reason to explore the old exploration zones alio and allows me to allows me to relax after a hard grind session gives me more different types of content to experience in p in ngs this activity can be done together with friends that's pretty much it what i didn't enjoy finding stella graces in places with a lot of verticality was very frustrating sometimes because of the scanner da, 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 da. limiting me to 30 stella graces a day was very unfulfilling. I wanted to do more to earn to earn more rewards. Uh, what else did I like about the Stella Grace? Um, the 24-hour time limit to collect Stella Graces seems a bit too uh, restricting to some players. Because I noticed, like, you know, sometimes you don't have enough time to log in to collect all your Stellar Graces because it's like a 48 hour period thing, right? So sometimes that, that window, that 24 hour window to collect all your Stellar Graces, it's uh, some people just like don't do it because they're just like, oh, I can't be bothered, whatever. But I think if they gave people a little bit more time or a little bit more flexibility, it would be a bit better. Maybe I should reword this. I think the time frame should be more flexible for the players. Sure. Okay, cool. There we go. I'm done. Next. All right, let us know how satisfied you are with the weapons of each class. Sword. I'm satisfied. I'm okay with the sword. Wired Lance, I don't use it that much, but I mean, it's okay. Partisan. Just for you, thrift shopping, we need better partisan PAs, right? So I'm dissatisfied. I don't know why, but I'm dissatisfied. Twin Daggers. I've never used twin daggers, so I don't know. Double sabers, I don't know. Knuckles, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. 
Um, assault rifle. I don't know. Launcher. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, rod. I've used rod. I like rod. Rod's pretty fun. Talus. I don't know. Wand. Katana. Satisfied. Bow. Bow's okay. Jet boots. Uh, I don't know. Soaring blade. I've actually used soaring blades. Status. Uh, now we need. Yeah, we're gonna go dissatisfied because we need buffs on soaring blades for my boy Chrono. So I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna go very dissatisfied. There we go. All right. The bow's okay. Katana's good. Uh, rod is good. Sword wire lances are good. Partisan and soaring blades need some love. Um, everything else I haven't used. Yeah, I'm, I'm a great content creator. I, I don't use these weapons. Keck. Okay, next. Let us know if there's any weapons you'd be interested but have not used. Select all that apply. I mean, I would like to try the assault rifle if it gets good. Yeah, dude, I actually really want to play Ranger assault rifle and Gunner, like Twin Machine Gun assault rifle. It's just, they're just not that great right now. Force Rod. I mean, I, I do play Force Rod already, so... Uh, interested in... Oh, but have not used. Yeah, I haven't used these. Um, I would like to use Partisan. I would like to learn how to use Partisan if it gets good. Like, you know, becomes OP. Uh, I would also like to use Knuckles, to be honest. Knuckles feels really cool. But that's about it. Um, I've used Soaring Blades already, so... That's really it. Yeah, so these, these are weapons that I would like to use. But it's just not in, you know, not the right time yet. Okay, lastly, let us know your final thoughts on PSO2 and GS. Wow, 2,500 characters. Okay, this is the last question, so uh, let us let us give uh, our feedback. One, please give us an auto sell feature. I want to be able to just focus on the combat while I am in a combat zone having to clear my inventory after every single PSC burst is very distracting and it makes the game a less enjoyable experience give us more in-game content which has replayability to keep players engaged we should uh, do examples here Endless quest, uh, divide quests, cosmetic rewards, which encourage players to achieve specific specific goals, difficult content to encourage people to upgrade their gear, alliance slash group content which provide significant buffs slash changes to the game. Example, ally, Alliance tree buff, tree buff leveling system. Uh, what else? We've got Endless, Divide, Cosmetic, Difficult Content, Alliance. Uh, I want Extreme Quests. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Three more content related to exploration zones i want more exploration zones or i want more reason to go to do the exploration zones yep and then um what else do we need hmm right i want a crafting system upgrade system so over here it would be allow us to level up fixa i think that's easier to understand Allow us to further customize weapons, color, camo, uh, stats maybe, stats slash potentials. That would be that would be really fun if we could. I want skill, changing gear, rings slash. Uh, what else did we have back in base game? We just had rings, right? Rings slash uh, whatever. We'll do augments, right? Imagine if we can get augments that change the ability of how our existing skills work. So for example, if you're like a braver, 
and like Lotus Lightning, maybe you get like a specific augment that changes how Lotus Lightning works. Instead of that ranged attack, maybe it changes your Lotus Lightning to like what Bujin does. You actually physically dash forward. So you still deal the damage the same way, but it essentially changes the skill because you're dashing forward. So it's like a gap closer now. And you can dash like three times maybe, just like how Bujin does it. And then you snap your skill and then boom, it does all that damage. So like skill changing gear, that's what I mean by this. Like it just fully changes or breaks down the fundamentals of how that skill works. Um, so it adds a little bit of complexity. So that would be really cool. Um, what else do I want? I would love to see... Um, I would love to see Meseta Sinks. So why do I want to see a Meseta Sink? It's simply because there's a lot of people with a lot of Meseta right now. And you know, some people got this Meseta legitimately, but there are a lot of people out there that got this Meseta illegitimately through red boxing or through like, you know, botting or buying Meseta or other means, right? So this is causing the inflation. This is why our hairstyles are costing like 8 million and something ridiculous like that. So what I would like to see is a method or, or reason for these people to spend their Meseta so that it gets the money out of the economy. So that uh, our so that our economy can stabilize and get back to normal, basically. So we need a Meseta sink. Maybe this is like how you re-roll. Maybe that's how you can re-roll stats or something. So let's put five over here, Meseta sink. And then we're actually, I want to have a weapon slash armor armor gambler gives random one to five star weapons slash armors but costs meseta so this is a bit like diablo like in diablo 2 you know how you've got like greed where you can gamble you can spend a lot of your extra meseta or i guess it's gold in diablo and you can gamble for armors weapons trinkets whatever so that would be nice as a meseta sink Allow us to reroll augments with Meseta. Gives us random augments of the same rarity. So for example, let's say you have like a Dust Soul 3, but maybe you don't want the Dust Soul 3, you want like the new Errati Soul 3, and you can use Meseta to reroll that specific augment, and it'll roll through all the different soul types. So let's say that you have a Dust Soul 3. So when you reroll, it's guaranteed to be a level 3 soul type and you just gamble through them or something. That would be really cool. Uh, what else could we do? What else is a good Meseta sink that makes us spend money? Um, well, of course, we've got augmenting and upgrading and stuff. Allow us to purchase limited minerals, photon scales. That would be nice, you know? If people really want photon scales, but they've got the Meseta, you can just spend all your meseta and buy the photon scales that's also another meseta sink that would be really really nice all right guys i think i've written quite a bit over here please let me know in the comment section below if i've missed anything or what you guys think is a great idea and i'll definitely keep note of that and i'll actually put it in in my next questionnaire if they ever come up with another one they will they'll come up with another questionnaire for sure so uh, yeah, then I can input your ideas into my questionnaire as well. And just a friendly reminder to everyone, again, this questionnaire will be going away tomorrow. So please, please, please go to the link in the description below and please fill out this questionnaire with your thoughts and your ideas. If you liked any of my ideas that I just wrote right here, feel free to write the same thing and continue. And voila, we have completed the questionnaire, so we are good to go. This ends the questionnaire. Please close the window to end the current session. And we are back on my desktop. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome For the heels, the boosts, the